All right, y'all, cold start. It's been raining all night. Let's see what it sounds like. Oof. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Alright guys, good morning, welcome back to the videos, and welcome back to the vlogs. It's been a minute since we had weather like this. Today is sitting in the low 60s, which is rare for March, right? Low 60s, and it is sunny, right? That's great, and I don't normally do this, but I'm heading out to a, 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 car, a Cars of Coffee right now in New Jersey. Jason's right behind me, I don't know how well you guys can see him, but... He's following me. We're heading out to uh, Cars and Coffee in New Jersey. I don't normally go out of like my way to go to another state just for Cars and Coffee events, but I do have a reason for going there today. So you guys might see that big thing of oil I got there on my passenger seat. No, that's not for me. You know, um, if I wasn't running my Sony adapter, I would be carrying a big bottle of oil with me as well. But that's actually Peter's. If you guys don't remember who Peter is, Peter's the guy with the FD RX7. He left his oil with me when we were doing the runs in, um, on the mountain the other week, right? And, oh man, look at these tunnels. Downshift, downshift, and... <laughs> I, I mean, you just have to when you're in a tunnel, right? But, what was I even saying? I forgot, I lost my train of thought. I just lose my train of thought so easily. But uh, Peter left this in my in my car when we were doing the runs on the mountain the other week. Or it might be like a month away, a, a month ago now. But uh, yeah, he left it in my car and I'm gonna go drop it off. He's in the Jersey area, so you know, he came all the way out to New York to go you know, driving with me. So it only makes sense for me to take this back to his state, you know? So we're meeting him at a Cars and Coffee right now. And yeah, it's gonna be my, where did Jason go? I got cut off. But it's gonna be my first time doing a cars and coffee thing or any car meet in New Jersey, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. I want to see what kind of cars I like. I'm interested in to seeing what kind of car show up. I'm pretty active in the New York, you know, car meet scene, but never in New Jersey. So I'm really excited to you know check it out and maybe potentially meet some of you guys there if you guys are out there in Jersey. So yeah, we're gonna take this long bit of a drive as long as this 330i don't try to kill me by merging about using his uh, signals. You know, as long as we make there make it there well we should be a good time yo this is hella relatable <laughs> right here bro that's me that's me all right so in the in the meets whenever whenever i go to the meets in new york right there's barely any mazdas there's no rx7s no rx8s no miatas i'm gonna see if the jersey scene is a little bit different all right but i am concerned though because we do got cops like literally right in front of us they're not shutting the meat down because we literally just got here and they're heading our way bro <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of worried that they're gonna kick us out not gonna lie yeah could happen yeah also check out Jason in this drip bro <laughs> dripped out that color is really nice by the way. like just to oh, show you guys how it. big this meat is right look look at this yeah. bro you're shopping at Starbucks Okay. It's such a huge meat. When I saw the ad for like this meat, right? I thought it was gonna be like, you know, a couple of people. Not like a sea of people, bro. And I mean that quite literally.
also because they're leaving, they make it a lot. Yeah, of everyone is literally rubbing it in front of the cops. That's that's literally the reason why we get kicked out of these meets. It's because of like the people that's just revving it. At parks, like when you're parking and chilling, that this type of meet, just don't rev it. All right, and we're trying to keep it down. Like we don't want to make the spot hot. That's how the cops gets involved. And it's, you know what's crazy? It's all like the, it's, it's like mo mostly it's just like all the younger kids too. Yeah. And they're just revving and making it pop and shit. <laughs> no, as we were talking about it. And bikes. <laughs> and bikes. Definitely bikes, definitely bikes. All right, uh, I'm not getting pulled over. I know you guys see the cops there, but you know, uh, we are heading out of the meet though because the there's too many people are leaving at first. We're just gonna try to stick it out because you know there's no way they could kick this many people out, right? But a lot of people are leaving, so um, we're just gonna follow them. We are gonna go to the second location. A little bit hesitant on that because I just like the cops could easily just follow us, but the second location is like 20 minutes away, so we're gonna go check it out. But if we get kicked out again, then you know I'm not going to no third locations because you're just gonna end up running around all day. That's usually how it works. So Jason's behind me, he does have to work later in the day, so I'm not, I'm not trying to waste too much of his time. So we're just gonna check out the second location real quick, and yeah, hope it's gonna take us a while to get out of here though. You guys, you guys saw how many cars there are, it's gonna take a minute to like just get out of this traffic. Uh, I'm already sitting here for like five minutes. So we'll see how long this takes. One eternity later. All right guys, a little change of plans here. Jason ended up having to go back to New York. He does have work today. Mad, mad respect for him for grinding on a weekend, you know? But you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out here in New York, right? So big props to him for that. But I don't think I'm gonna end up checking out the second spot of the, the meet because I do have to be back in New York by a certain time as well. I'm selling something on Facebook Marketplace, so I gotta go and you know drop that off uh, whenever, whenever that time comes. So can't spend too much time here in New Jersey, but while I am here though, uh, I'm gonna go check out this road that I used to go to pretty often. You know, it's been a minute since I've driven this road. I'm just gonna, wow, oh, 60 degrees weather, man. How can I not go out for a little, nice little cruise? You know what I mean? So we're gonna try to do that. Nothing too crazy though. We, we will be going the speed limit, you know? Uh, we're we're law-abiding citizens here. So uh, we'll just go out and have a little nice nice little drive, see what the road is like. And if it is, if it's still a good road to drive in, then you know, maybe me and Jason could come back here and we'll you know, do, do a little bit of driving here together. But yeah, until then though, I do have a little bit of a drive left to go. Have some time to spend here in New Jersey. Not, a lot of you guys probably don't know this, but I, I didn't actually grow up in New York. I grew up in New Jersey, at least up until like the fifth grade and then I moved to New York so you know a good part of my childhood was spent here in Jersey and yeah it's always, it's always nice to be back it's pretty nostalgic like you know just seeing the, these type of roads because you don't see roads like like this in New Jersey you know I mean in New York it's just not the same even the highways unless maybe you go really deep into Long Island but even then just something about like this part of Jersey that's kind of nice to me but yeah enough rambling let's let's just drive all right guys so we're on the road right now I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive very much today. Or I mean like, you know, uh, I don't think I will be able to, you know, really drive the car today because uh, on my way down, there is a lot of cars parked on the side. Like, yes, yeah, see that truck that's just off to the side right here. I do see a lot of cars parked off to the side. That makes me think that people are just hiking. It is kind of like a mountain road, so it would make a lot of sense if people are hiking. So not really gonna, not really gonna do too much here. But I do wanna at least check out the roads. Man, the elevation change up here is crazy. And you guys see these stiff, like these hard drop-offs? That's kind of scary. So I used to come out here and drive back when this was like the only location I knew. I mean, man, this is like throwbacks to the days when I just started doing YouTube. And this would be like one of the roads that I drive because it's like, it was one of the only roads that I know. But now I know a lot more roads that I think in my opinion are a bit better. This is definitely, the accelerating run right because of how tight the corners are and all that but i just don't feel comfortable bringing it up above like 30 because there's just too many cars parked on the side here yeah you see like another two cars parked on the side here just uh yeah not, not the best. I'm sure if you come here in the middle of the night, like no one's gonna be here, but not being 
able to see these drop-offs in the middle of the night it is kind of scary, not gonna lie. And yeah, another car parked. guys I lied you guys could probably hear it but I'm back at the car meet <sighs> the road just wasn't really all that safe to drive right now what, what's going on here are they like you hear that you hear that god damn bro this is why we get kicked out of car meets I mean it does sound cool though. I'm not gonna lie but <laughs> what was I even saying bro I'm looking for Peter right now oh, nice Andy bro that shit. Mm, I could get one of those. Well, I'm looking back to the topic ahead. I'm looking for Peter. He has the RX-7 park somewhere around here. I'm trying to return this big ass thing of oil that he left in my car like two or three weeks ago now. Where is he? Where is he? I'm just trying to find his car. If I could park next to him, then I'll find him eventually, right? Is that a real Z01? I mean Z01 or ZR1? Can't tell if that's real. Oh no, no, it's not. I don't think it is. I think it's just a kit. Where the hell is the RX-7? <laughs> Yo, got your oh, yeah. oil right here, bro. <laughs> nice and safe. <laughs> nice and safe. I'll grab it right now. All right, where'd they, you park? Are they kicking right people out? There. Yeah, because of the people that were just yeah, revving. Yeah, they're revving, all right? All bro, I, I, I was just saying. the beginning. I'm like, there's bro, no like, point of doing all of that. Yeah. Everything was super chill until that happened, but they're gonna start kicking people out. Okay. He said that they're gonna start um, issuing tickets. So, okay. So um, yeah, just pull around them and then um, I'll, you'll see me. I'm right here. Okay. I'm straight ahead. All right, bet, bet, bet. I will say though, the cops in New Jersey are a lot nicer than the cops in New York from experience so far. It's like they're not being assholes to everybody. You know, in, in New York, you know, the moment they see you, they're like, get out, come on guys, you know, I'm issuing tickets. You know, th the cops here at least are giving us time to, you know, pack our stuff and just leave. So that's good. But I literally just got here, didn't even have time to park yet. And, <laughs> and we're already being kicked out. Got the FD right here. Also, one thing I realized while I'm here, my AC died. Um, I don't got AC right now. <laughs> bro, fucking hot, bro. It only, uh, On the it only comes out. No, no. Oh, that's, no, that's no. my. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say. I think I know the owner of this RX8. Like I've seen him around. Yeah, he's around. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, is that? Oh, this is yours. I think I. Yeah, you're right. I do recognize your car. I was like, wait, I know this guy. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> From the block party. From the block party, and I think I've seen you at other meets too. Probably in New York. Yeah. So I remember yeah. even before. A like a long time ago too. I remember seeing your RX-8. I think yeah, we follow each other on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, we do. Bro, yeah, yeah, that's dope. I just don't recognize the face because you know. <laughs> but like, see his car. I'm like, oh, I know that dude. Yeah. Reminder of what Peter's FD looked like. You know, he won it from a raffle on Instagram. Dope car, automatic, but you know, FD is FD, right? You can't complain, especially when you get it for $45. This is what Peter did. So, nice car, nice car. We will get we'll get one eventually guys. We'll get one eventually but for now. I'm pretty happy of how the RX-8 looks It is glistening in the Sun right now And we got another F oh, RX-7 here. I mean our RX-8 you guys know what I'm saying we got another another rotary here It's a dope car got the same color interior too Yeah, but I th we're, we're gonna have to go though because the cops are giving everyone tickets So don't want to stick around for too much longer All right, let's get out of here before the cops gives us another ticket Back to New York we go. 
it's about time I meet up with the, the seller anyway for my marketplace. If you guys are wondering what I'm selling, I'm selling a gimbal. I don't use it anymore. I, I was really excited when I first got it. I made so much videos on it on my channel. Like just talking about it. It's like, oh my god, guys, look at this gimbal I got. I'm gonna do so many, so many videos of this, but you know, I barely used it, so yeah, just goes to goes to show, you know, you don't need all the fancy equipments for YouTube, alright? If you know, just just use what you got and you know you'll be you'll be all right. I'm trying to set up my Google Maps right now. Alright, let, let me let me set that up and go. Alright, guys, package secured. Uh let's go sell it. All right guys, I'm currently in Brooklyn now and I just want to say I'm not usually the type to get frustrated when stuck in traffic, but driving to Brooklyn, oh my god, that was frustrating. It like legitimately might be worse than driving to the city, like no cap, like oh my god, that was so bad. <sighs> Hello. Hi, this place is fucking packed. Yeah. <laughs> Driving here was ass too, and I'm I'm making a mistake of wearing a jacket. Oh, Bro, like it was so yeah, fucking hot, and the AC in my car died. Oh my died? god, yeah, Is so no no AC. It needs to be recharged. Like oh my god, dude, I was melting in there. But hi, Romy, welcome Hello. back. <laughs> Guys, we upgraded from Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> no more Wendy's up here. <laughs> All right, let's see how this does. Yeah. Bam, let's see. But I'm hungry as fuck. Yeah. I have not ate all day. It's pretty good. And we got cauliflower. Mm. We just spent like, what, like an hour and a half just like talking about my resume because you know she's helping me out making my resume because you know <laughs> I'm trying to get a job you know trying to leave Starbucks can't afford for all my car stuff you know working at Starbucks no more and you know uh, <laughs> fingers crossed fingers crossed you know your boy's trying to trying to get out of being a barista forever <laughs> and huge shout out to Romy for the help no problem I mean, you guys probably already knew this was coming since you know I went to Jersey and Brooklyn today. We are 12 gallons deep for one day. Yeah, 49 dollars. I mean, I did I did do a lot of driving today, but yeah, it, it, it never hurts any less. All right, guys, it never hurts any less to spend that much money on a tank of gas in one day. But cars fully warmed up right now. Let's see how quickly it starts. Cause you know, I always, I always, you know, wait, do this little test, you know, cause if it starts up quickly, then that means the engine's pretty good compression and it started like literally right up. And you guys can see engine temps are, well, 206. It, it is kind of warm, but I've just only been driving in traffic, right? So, you know, this is before the thermostat, 206. And then after the thermostat, it's actually cooling off a little bit now. So, you know, 200. So yeah, warm start, all good. And, uh, Good, healthy engine. Now let's go home. All right, guys, yeah, I made it to the end of the video. And as always, if you made it to the very end of the video, I really appreciate you guys for taking the time every day to watch the content all the way through. So thank you guys so much for that. Really mean it every single time I say it. I normally would do my outro um, on, on my computer, but you know, there's kind of a, it's kind of a cat in the way. You know, I don't know if you guys can see him because uh, you know, he's so dark. Oh, yep, 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 did I wake you up? Oh, well, you want to touch the camera? <laughs> hey, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit my, sit my ass down right here. We'll, we'll talk, but. <clears throat> plane flying by but yeah that was my first car meet in new jersey it was really cool um i didn't expect that much people to show up as it did um when i first saw the ad on like instagram like i, I thought it was just a couple of people showing up because the the post itself didn't have that much likes and uh, the account that posted it they didn't have the crazy amount of followers so i was in my head i was expecting oh maybe it'll be a couple cars maybe 10 20 30 people right and then i show up and there's like thousands of people and wow it was just like i did not expect that um i guess it was a combination of good weather and the day that it was hosted on on. everyone was just off and you know it just dragged everyone out it dragged all the cool cars out which is amazing there was a lot of Porsches and everything like that which was really cool and there was a lot of supercars I saw a bunch of Lamborghinis and stuff like that good time and the New Jersey car scene definitely did a better job representing the Mazda community out there than here in New York at least for that one car meet because I saw so many Miatas so many RX-7s or FC RX-7s I didn't see I don't think I've seen a single FD but I did see a couple FCs you know a lot of RX-7s out there a bunch of Miatas it was just a good time uh 
in New York, you don't. I don't really see that much um, Miata or RX-7s on the car meets. I, I don't know if it's because they don't normally go out to car meets, but it does make sense for New Jersey to have a, like a bigger rotary community because a lot of the most reputable rotary engine builders are in New Jersey. So you know that does make sense, but. It's too bad that I couldn't really go for a fun drive, despite the really good weather. I guess the good weather just also dragged everyone out to go hiking and stuff, which is, you know, fine. People could enjoy the road as well. But yeah, couldn't really go for a nice little drive. But, you know, we could, we could do that another time. And I've been itching to go back and make some more runs with Jason. But, you know, we'll, we'll do that when the time comes. Um, still still dealing with the squeaking issues on the RX-8. Definitely want to get that sorted. I do think it's gotten a little bit worse. Or I'm just starting to pay attention to it more. But, you know, we'll dig into that when the time comes. But, yeah, I'm not going to ramble on for too much longer in this video because I am about to head to work soon. So, I'm going to wrap up here. Hopefully, you guys have a great day, great night wherever you're around the world. Until the next one, guys. Um, Yeah. Peace.